Thank you. I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our Constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The Peace Constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA? As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just get in the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology that you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice, too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name, too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon, a town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Oh. Thank God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small. 
and she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz, and I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. <laughs>